Chinese tale. Once upon a time, in the forest, there was a squirrel named Tiny. He knows for his fun-loving and charismatic personality. Tiny had a knack for making other squirrels happy, and they often sought his company. Day after day, the requests of his friends increased, and Tiny, being the helpful sort, obliged without complaint. He would gather nuts for the elderly, watch the little ones play, and even entertain the young at heart with his silly antics. However, as time went by, Tiny to feel overwhelmed and unhappy. His selflessness had left him drained. And he longed for some time to himself, but he forced it on, afraid that if he said no, his friends might no longer love him. One day, after another exhausting day of gathering to the knees of his friends, Tiny collapsed in his nest, too tired to move. As he lay there, he realized that he could no longer continue like this. He had to learn to say no sometimes, because before he could help his friends, he must always be ready within himself first. Slowly, Tiny began to set boundaries with his friends, politely declining their request. When he felt overwhelmed, at first they were confused and hurt, but eventually they understood. They saw how much happier and healthier Tiny was when he had taken care of himself, and they began to appreciate his newfound strength. It was then that Tiny met a wise old squirrel. Who had been observing him from afar? The old squirrel had seen many squirrels come and go in the forest, and he knew that Tiny's new foul balance was the key to the true happiness. Together, they devised a system whereby Tiny could continue to bring joy to his friends. While also maintaining his own happiness, they created a schedule where Tiny could dedicate specific times of the day to helping others, and would spend the rest of the time taking care of himself. They also taught him the importance of moderation, reminding him. That too much of anything was never a good thing. As Tiny continued to set boundaries and take care of himself, he found new interests and hobbies that brought him joy, allowing him to expand his relationships beyond just his forest friends and continue with others outside of their community. He discovered a passion for icon collecting, and his meticulous organization skills made him invaluable to the other squirrels. He also developed a talent for storytelling, captivating his friends with tales of his adventures and observations. In turn. They shared their own stories and experiences with him, creating a bond that went beyond a simple friendship.